Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can use four hour uh, time frame and start analyzing it to get an entry. This is a four hour strategy. I have started doing this because I believe as much as I am a swing trader, I can be even a day trader. I can get in maybe for a session like a New York session and then I close the trade, make money. Because remember the goal here is to make money. Regardless if you are a scalper, a swing trader, one goal all of us we have is to make money. And I want to, uh, to have a balance on this channel. I don't want people to always think that, oh, she's a swing trader, there's nothing else I'll learn. And that's why I'm doing this video. So Euro USD for our strategy, where you can apply it and use it and start making money. So we will do Euro USD. I will not flip any time frame. And this is a this is another signal, guys. I want to give everyone who is following, so that once it happens, it will build your confidence. I want to be giving current market because many people think, oh, she's back testing a lot. Why can't she give a current market? So we will be doing will be mixing current market. And you know, when I say it on Monday, every time it's on Monday, you have to be on this channel. Why? I'll be giving two signals. One, one will be swing, the other one will be short term. So every Monday you should be coming here for a free signal, a free setup, free analysis, everything free guys. So let's get into this Euro USD. So this is for our Euro USD. And the first thing that is coming out of my mind or out of this chart, what I can see, I can see the market has been trending above. Like it is evident if I try to squeeze the chart, you can see this market has been buying. This market is an uptrend. So don't be fooled when the market has this drop. What if this drop is a retracement? And that's what I say. For me, sometimes I feel it much hard to trade on four because when you don't uh, squeeze or you don't like zoom out, you will not see what is happening. So don't be fooled when you see sell coming out like this. It might be just a retracement because we can see the bigger picture is what? It's an uptrend. And again, there's a confusion because we can have this uptrend, this market has been buying, and maybe now we want to have a reversal. You know, a market that has been buying for so long, when reversal starts to come, this is what happens. The reversal starts to come and the market reverse and go back. So where this market is, is very tricky. More so if you're just using one time frame to analyze. But guys, we will still work with one time frame. The best thing I have, I'm loving with what I can see is because this market high has not been touched. Like you can see the highest point where we have, we have this highest point. Can you see guys, I hope it is very clear. We have this highest point, meaning that the buyers are more willing to take this market high. Unless we see buyers coming in and maybe coming again to this area and they are not able to break, that's when you can see that the market has been, has the sellers are taking control. But that is first thing I'm, I'm pointing out that we had a break of structure buyers are more willing, they have broken this uh, and they, they, are, they are more willing to take the market up. The other thing that I want to check is if this is my highest point, if this is my highest point and nothing as like the buyers have not been challenged, where is my, my current price? My current price at this moment is this zone. This is my current point, uh, my, my, my current price. So I have to be very careful with my current price because this current price, something can happen. The market might be arranging here because of an obstacle on my left. So I want to be careful that as, as long as I have seen that the market, and you see this is what they do. They will show you that the market, uh, the BOS, we have BOS, the market is breaking all oh, you on a sell. But what you fail to see is the obstacle direct where the market is ranging, the direct obstacle. And guys, guess what? Guess what we have? One candle obstacle. And this is where I was telling you guys, uh, there's a video I did on one support, one candlestick support, one candlestick resistance. If you have not watched that video, go and watch that video immediately. It is very important. For me, when I start seeing one candle like this, I see one candle like this. 
I'll just put a box from the body because that's how we do it. How do you um how do you measure the double bottom? You you lose one horizontal line from the body and the other one to the width, and then you can adjust the box. Guys, this all of this information I have done on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go back. So that's what you are doing. And what we don't want, what we don't want to happen. We don't want that line to be broken. You can see where the weeks are. Here is our target on the weeks. So we don't want the market breaking with the body. If it breaks with the week, fine, no problem. We don't want these sellers coming because if we have something like this, it is no longer a double bottom. Guys, you need to understand how double bottoms are violated and it's no longer a double bottom. So if we have something like that, it can't be a double bottom. And you see what now we have, it is a double bottom that has not been violated. And you can see if this double bottom might work, how do I enter this trade? That is the question you need to ask yourself. How do I enter this trade? So first, before even we ask for entry, let's ask for where is the neckline? Where is the half? And guys, I have already marked the neckline and the neckline is the highest point of that market. So this is my neckline. You can see it clearly. What is the second, the third thing that you should mark on this chart? Uh, we should mark the half. And the half, guys, you always start on the left side. That leg is where you start. So if at all we get involved, because this is a short-term trade, that is our TP1. So this is our TP1 and then our TP2 to the neckline. So how do we now get involved? That is the question, guys. How do we get involved? As you can see, the market after it touched here, we had first attempt. You can see we had first touch here. So even if we didn't have all of this, the double bottom was already created. And then what we had, this double bottom, as the leg was coming, the buyers were coming here, the seller started to come down. You can see after the big green candle followed by a red, we created a small resistance. And then later the resistance was broken. Guys, this is enough to tell you, already we have an entry, already we have an entry for Euro USD. Already Euro USD is a buy. Guys, I hope you have followed. I always say, when you want to analyze four hour time frame, either you have a double bottom or a, a double top, don't use the BBB. Always use current resistance, if it's a double bottom, current support, if it is a double top. So in this case, when the market tapped here, you can see when the market tapped here, when the market tapped here, let me cut this information so that you understand what I'm saying. So when the market tapped this zone, we had it tapped and the candle was very huge. So we were just waiting for a red candle so that we can know that is a resistance. So as, as we were waiting for the red candle, you can see we got the red candle and we had our resistance. So in my mind, I was, I was thinking, if I need to enter this market, if I need to enter this market, what do I need to see? I need to see that resistance being broken. It's not about four hour we don't do WBB because if it is WBB we would have entered. Guys, can you see the difference? WBB says, wait for green candle, check if it's bullish angle. Which candle did we have here? A bullish angle. So if it is, if I was telling you guys to use WBB already, you would be in and you would have been on drawdown. So wait, BOS. We want BOS on the current resistance. Guys, pay attention because this will change how you analyze the market resistance. So wait BOS on current resistance. After now you wait BOS on current resistance. For me, I was waiting for that resistance to be broken. So let's wait and see what happens. So as we were waiting, for me, I was waiting patient. I, I didn't have, um, I didn't have, I, I was not in hurry to enter Euro USD. I was like, if they don't break my resistance and they continue breaking down, they have violated that double bottom. So as I was waiting, what happened? They broke, uh, let me show you. Imagine if you entered with this bullish angle, you would be disappointed. These are so many hours, like almost, 
how many hours? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 times 4, 40 hours, 40 good hours waiting. That is two days waiting for the market. And for me, I was not in, I was just observing. So what we had, the market broke, the market broke. So what I used to do, uh, what I used to do previously, I would have entered here. Guys, that is the wrong thing to enter because, uh, and I don't know why, but I'm being forced to train you guys on BWA, but I have, I have to think of, of that because what I did here, I used, I said, wait, BWA confirmation to confirm. So for me, I was not ready to enter immediately. I was not ready to enter immediately. But those who entered here, it is already, uh, the market will reach here. If you see this and you enter, the market will eventually give you 54 pips to the half. But for me, I wanted more surety that this buyer will not make me wait forever. There's a difference of a confirmed buy and there's a difference of a buy that is not confirming TP as soon as possible. So you can enter a market. I don't know if you're getting me. You can enter a trade. That trade will buy. It will hit TP. What I knew is that the market will hit this TP1. But what I wanted for BWA is how long will it take? Guys, am I, am I making sense? Like BWA can tell you it will just take a day. That's how powerful BWA uh, strategy is. It will take a day for you to hit TP. BWA can tell you, yes, I will hit TP1, but I'll take a week or a month. And that's the power of BWA. And guys, for now, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just teaching this on my mentorship program. Why am I teaching this? Because sometimes people are not grateful. You even tell them everything and still they're not grateful. So BWA is the only, uh, is the only uh, strategy that I teach on my mentorship and I've never shared here. I have shared WBB, ABM, all those other strategies, but BWA is only only for my paid mentorship program so if you people think why am i coming for you come for this strategy because it is wonders it can show you how long will it take for my tp1 to be hit because if you enter right now it will hit tp1 but you don't know how long and that's the difference so for me i had to wait and when i waited i was like i have i have to look for a good entry so from from this candle, I started uh, adding my position. So you can see when I saw this red big candle, according to my strategy, I knew this market would be going to TP1 soon. It would, it will go, but not soon. So what happened is that as I was waiting, I started now putting in my position. I think my first entry I entered here because I know one way, because you can see some rejection. I know one way. Now at least it's a discounted price. I knew it will it will give me 120 pips. That is better than uh, staying like that with only 50. So I started stacking in trades. But guess what? The market has continued to go down up to that zone. So you can see it has gone back to that zone, gone back to that, that zone. And what it has given us, <clears throat> it gave us a green candle. When the market gives you a green candle, this is what is happening. Remember, even if it has gone all the way, it has not violated the, the, first, the first bottom. Can you see, guys? This first bottom is not violated because if this red candle broke through, broke out, ah, I would have canceled my trade, but it has not uh, violated, so we are still safe. Another thing, if you apply BWA, it is telling you that it is time now to buy. If I play BWA, it is time to buy because again, BWA has been confirmed. I said I will not go in detail. BWA has confirmed. You see, BWA has confirmed. And now I was, I, I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very, very positive and confident that this market is going to have. So if I thought, I was buying when the market was there. I knew 
that this market will go where? To TP1, that is 166 pips. So already you know, once a green candle is followed by a red candle, we have a support created. And then we are waiting to see how a buyer's coming in. And then all of a sudden, we had a red candle followed by a, a green candle followed by a red candle. Guys, what is that? It is a resistance created. So I have a small resistance like that. And I will say, wait, be, wait, box break. Wait, and not box break, BOS. So if at all you want to wait for this market, you want to enter, and you can see they are attempting to break this zone, they are not. So we can see what is happening. The market is at that level. So if you don't want to enter at this moment, if you don't want to enter this moment, you can wait for this market to break this current resistance. But I'm telling you, our entry we were given here. So if at all you are watching this video and you go and buy Euro USD, buy Euro USD and your TP is TP1, 176 pips. The only thing now you can do is to be to have a lot of patience and wait for your market or your trade to beat TP. Guys, Euro USD and the previous one, NSDSD, are the trades of this week. Those are free, uh, they are the free, we call them what? free signals that I've given. And then from there, I'm going back to back testing. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed until next time. Bye-bye. Love you.